you are watching Call of Kula Chika Friday, Saturday and Sunday. You are watching this together 2024-2025. We are here at Adit Mall in Mara. We are looking for the next Uganda queen, the lady that is going to be representing Western region. I would like the questions that the judges are asking. Mm -hmm. They are all complimentary. Mm -hmm. They are all very much and very good yes. to do.
yes, 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 the problem. Mm -hmm. Some of the companies I work with are uh, 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 many songs like Charenga. There is another song where I, I, I appeared in the video, but only the shoes. The shoes. So the one that they have very nice. So when you, see, even when you see that song Charenga, mm -hmm. you will see that person who was playing the Bolobos. But my face would not appear there because of politics. Someone called my mother to take. 2025 Western region. But briefly, I'm going to have a, like one, two. People get it time. But I'm going to have a two. 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 I'm going to have Lesson you do so well in Gamusa, or Kubika, or Kubika, no Kubika. Lesson you have Sakotan books of Okumaya, or Musilo, or Mubara, Uchimu. Another way of Umbaraka, Abuda, Kabuda, Akanama de Kapua, I did them a book, Tapata book, so number book.
it all begins with you. So if you don't pull yourself up, trust me, everyone will always bring you down. So it is all about you and pray to God to always lift you there, always be confident about yourself because believe me, it has already been a lot that has pushed. I pray and in the morning I wake up very confident when I'm going to do something. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, judges. Good evening, again. Congratulations on making it this far. Thank you very much. The first question I'll ask you is, how can we instill pride in one's culture and heritage among young people? Say again. Can we instill pride in one's culture and heritage among young people. Thank you very much. The first thing I will say, by embracing it, and going back to our culture norm, like long ago, I would say that our people would kneel down greeting elders, that that is something that nowadays some people get to ignore. But by having pride in it, even though you go abroad, I want to tell everybody that it is okay to still use your mother tongue. For example, in Uganda, very many people believe that I'm not trying to segregate or something, I'm just trying to be honest. For example, many of us like Westerners, when we go to Kampala, we believe that all of us have to speak Luganda, maybe you have to, so that you fit in, but I advise everyone that you have to be confident with what you have, spread it out to the world so that they will like you for what you are. Now, like us, the Banyoro, I'm here to represent the Banyoro because I feel they are so down. They don't come out to embrace what they stand for. They want to put themselves in other corners. I want to tell everybody that first, the first thing, even though now as for me, very many people tell me that you look like Randy, you look like this. I'd be like, no, I'm a Banyoro and I'm very proud to be a Banyoro. So everybody should carry that pride with them to embrace it and it will take them from. Thank you. Say what you say in your Musibira mta, abanyoro nyuena, nguenda kubagambi le kitu kimu, ngu nora woli munyoro, otatina kubazo nyoro rawe. Liba tabli hamuona, oli confident, oli mwezi mbuno runyoro rawe, no barakweto we hangari indi, bazo runyoro rawe, bano mwezi mbumu kaucha yawe, ogini basa buli hamuona, na banyo runeto tumanyiwe. Weba. Weba. Okay, and what advice would you give to young women struggling with self-confidence? The advice I'll give the young women is that it starts with you. When you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, I'm not confident, trust me, you're going to carry that. It's going to lower your self-esteem. But one thing you should do, trust yourself, believe in yourself. Even though people tell you that, hey, you're so skinny, they're not going to choose it for me to get something. Tell them, I'm going to go out, try my life, and I'll make it. Be confident in yourself. Close your ears to negativity, and only allow positivity in your life. Thank you. Because she is an actress 
and she inspires me so much. Um, in my year one, I had a class project and we're supposed to act a movie. But then I thought acting is for people that have already made it in life, that have experience. But then when I did this movie series, I mean, I got to realize that I, I can actually act. When I looked at myself, I'm like, oh, wow, this is really incredible. And one other thing I would um, admire about her is that she's so simple about herself. She's so simple with herself. And she's, she just has the grace within her that flows. She's someone that is so natural. Um, when I say natural, I don't mean she doesn't do the makeup or whatever, but someone that's just full of herself. She knows what she is. Thank you. Mate, don't cry. It's all right. Don't cry. Don't cry, my child. That's fine. Okay, and for the, the general question, what advice would you give young women struggling with self-esteem? Advice that I would give to make is struggling with self-esteem. One, you should know that no one is going to love you. At the end of the day, you have to love yourself. You will go out there and seek for love but you will not find it. People will give you love, but it will not be consistent. At the end of the day, you just have to love yourself for who you are. Because even if you go around seeking for it, people are going to give you the false love. Just appreciate who you are, and then when you have the self-confidence, people around get to love you. I can talk about myself. I, I had friends around me in my senior three that were brown, were light-skinned, yes? And then, I had no self-confidence and I almost bleached in my senior career. I got a bleaching career. But then I got to realize I'm so beautiful. I mean people kept saying you're this beautiful girl and <laughs> yeah, I don't need anyone to me by that I'm pretty or you have a bad skin color because you know it has really helped me. So ladies out there that have suffered with self-esteem, love yourself. Really no one is going to give you the genuine love that you need except you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Send that paper to Queen Dope Now don't that say it's it a quite no way No more chingachi Cause it's time to be pink and tea Young ladies, you need to get the headache Okay, we are going to ask one general question
Now that the judges are on stage, the that you see is the first runners up, Miss Uganda Western Region 2023-2024. So please, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Queen Afra Tenganzi from Isidro District. Now the water is broke up on me. Uh -huh. So that is Afra Tenganzi, and she is holding the crown. <laughs> Over to you, the beautiful judges. We did in the middle of the church. Is that the right one? The church. First of all, I would like for you to give these young women a round of applause. They are good enough. Ladies, this has never happened, especially in the regions. So, without any further ado, we run up Miss Uganda West 2024 2025 is contestant number four. Congratulations, contestant number four. Miss Uganda 20, 24, 2025, Miss Uganda West is Robina Katushari. Contestant number 12. Congratulations, contestant number 12, Robina Katushari. First runner that Miss Uganda Western Region 2024, 2025. There are some ladies who would like to see again in Kampala for the final pre-selection. And these are number eight, number three, number 14, number nine, number nine, number 13, and number 10. We would like to see these ladies try their luck again in Kampala because we think there was something just a little bit missing. So if they work on it, they still have another I think, three weeks to polish that and come back to try mm -hmm. for the finals, for the final selection in Kampala. So again, number eight, three, 14, nine, 13, and 10. 